from the crossroads of America. We're at the center of Indianapolis, Indiana, as we get a look here at Lucas Oil Stadium. Soil Stadium. Dallas Flowers now on the return. And he doesn't make it far at all. They bottle up that return immediately. Can't happen. Man, that's just something you never ever. Next to the beautiful San Francisco Bay, 40 miles from where Candlestick Park once stood, we're at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Ball teed up, Austin Cyber down for the kick. And we're off from Levi's Stadium. Brings in the kick at the nine. Returns looking good so far. They'll take over at the 39-yard line. Nice return there. So their offense out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Let's go now. Purdy setting up that play action. Too much lead on that throw. That falls incomplete ahead of his target. Not on the same page with his tight end. And now it's second down. You know, there's not a lot of tight ends who are true weapons this far down the field. Not a lot of cover guys who can match up with them in terms of size. They tried to get it to him in a spot where he could win it, but no connection to be made. The give here on second. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. The big play nets him 17 yards. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, 
Right, they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger. But that back remains hungry. Now he takes it. That one hits the ground incomplete, but a flag also hit the ground. Let's sort this out. Offense tag for the penalty there as they walk off the distance. So things getting a bit tougher following that penalty. We've got second and 15. Shotgun snap for Purdy. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. On third down, Purdy. down that's what we call situational football you spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that pretty throwing here on first he's on the move now here he goes and this one does not go far just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's the long back on the handoff. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. He got five, and now it's gonna be third down and three. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good, fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. They give it to him again. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop was made. The right call came in at the right time. Give him nine yards and a successful conversion on four. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. He brings it in. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he'll get this across. Touchdown, San Francisco. The 49ers finish up an excellent opening series. Well, you couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp. Into a crowd, and a defender comes up with it. Picked off by Frankie Louvu. And the Commanders are off to a great start defensively. They force a turnover on the opening possession. Could have been seven if they tried the point after, but instead, they only call on him to boot this away. Has this at the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Got it. 
Ready? They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Three, three. Ready? They'll start the drive with Eckler. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. And he works his way for a gain of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Go, Reed, go! This is Eckler on second. Across midfield at the 45. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders tie it up late in the first. It's an Austin Eckler touchdown. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers, and what a big-time effort. That one splits the uprights, and they'll take the lead. It's all lined up. Cybert now ready to send this fly. He fields it from the eight. Returns looking good so far. This return makes it up to the 37 as he's tackled. The 49ers find themselves in a great spot to start this drive. First and 10, coming up. From the gun is Purdy. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he didn't get much time to secure it as he takes a shot. Good job to even hang on through that catch there. So before they get the snap away, we reach the... We're back, and it's 49ers football as we resume. They've got second and five. Going back, it's the handoff. Oh, he gets clobbered behind the line. What was supposed to move the chains, or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. And now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Third and six for them to figure out now. Here's Purdy to throw. Just got it away before the hit, but it doesn't matter. It's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. You know, that was a play, Kate, right there, where you need to buy your receivers just enough time to get open along their routes and your quarterback enough time to find and hit them with the throw. Time? Well, that's not what he had. O-line couldn't hold up, and it forces the incompletion. Motioning one of the tight ends. Pretty gonna go on fourth. He throws a bullet to the center and brought in inside the 20. And he will score. It's a San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers take a second quarter lead. It's a Brandon Ayuk touchdown. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels. And he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find Pater. Now, probably still mentally kicking himself after that missed point after. He can take a little frustration out here as he kicks this away. His return starts at the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26 yard line. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. Hey, check that, check that. Now the shotgun gives to Eckler. And he's brought down after a short game. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. 
Running with Eckler again. And he found some running room for a nice game. That's going to go down as a gain of seven. Now they're going to have third and two. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. They're down, give to Eckler. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. A dose of the hurry up offense here. Going for it, it's Eckler. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. That's a gain of 10, and staring at a turnover on downs, Brock, they pick up the first instead. Check, Brock, check, Brock. Staying with Eckler. And he's able to get it past midfield and down onto the 49er side. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. So it's the two-minute warning here from the home of the faithful. It's the Commanders. Looking at second and one. From the 46. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he stopped cold at the spot. Ooh, he paid for that one, but hey, still enough for that first down. On the set. Shotgun handoff now to Eckler. And the middle holds. They don't get anything on the run. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. He made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Quick hitter complete. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. The stop made that time by the rookie from Florida State. Third down, one yard to go. Dragon 60. Shotgun snap to Daniels. The back grabs it. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders get some late points and the lead. It's an Austin Eckler touchdown. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone and retake the lead. You just get this feeling every once in a while in games, this sucker's going to be a back and forth football game. So what a great job offensively to jump out in front here in the first half of play. to send this fly. It's Debo Samuel with the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. They're out and set. First and ten. Play action now with Purdy. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And he'll take this up to around the 29-yard line. Only a yard for him that time, so now third and nine. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss. This is a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And that will not be enough for a first down. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, 
You're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days. When you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. It's a clutch seven-yard pickup, and it pays off the call to go for it on fourth down. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Here we go. Here we go. Go. He's back to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. So we finished two quarters. So a couple more to come after this short break. More of the NFL on EA Sports after this. Well, that first half, certainly an interesting one. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt with you as we get back and see what the second half has in store for us. Kickoff taken at the three. Find some space. He's past the 30. And they'll start this drive in good position, a little shy of the 40. Oh, there's no question about it, Kate. That just infuses everybody. A little more bounce in your step now, both in and out of the huddle. And you want to pay off your special teams that set you up for success. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set. Pass First the and 10. Pass the street. Viking 18. Drop 60. Drop 60. Buffalo 18. Panther 11. Panther 11. Yep. On the gun, it's Daniels. On target to his man Zacchaeus. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. You're third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot. Out of the gun, Daniels. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. As a defense, you've got to see the pass. You've got to time up your hit, and you've got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on the bat run through a well-placed hit. On the give, here's Eckler. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Ready? 60 bikes, 60 bikes. Read alert, read alert. Ready, Looking to throw. That's cut beyond the marker. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. That's a gain of 10, and staring at a turnover on downs, Brock, they pick up the first instead. Reno, Reno. Here we go, here we go, Ready. Hand off now to Eckler. And they bring him down around the 34. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Third, third, let's go. Ready. Eckler running dead ahead. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. And he's down into the red zone. This run gets to the 18. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. Okay, great. Go check, go check. Here we go. Trying the inside handoff to Eckler. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. Hey, smash front This is Eckler. And he's going to be brought down after running this to the eight. Give him around six. That's going to make okay, it second ready. and four. Three, three, eight. Here's Robinson up the middle. 
And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Working quickly here. Here's Robinson. And he's in for the touchdown. The Commanders grow the lead coming out of halftime. Well, we all knew what was coming when they got into that goal line formation, didn't we, Brock? And they just pound the rock in for an old school touchdown. I just sometimes love that stuff. Hey, nothing yep. fancy, nothing cute. Here's our formation. You know we're running right at you. And we challenge you to stop us, and you can't. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. It's all lined up. Cybert now ready to send this fly. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And look at this return. The tackle's made, so this drive will begin at the 34 yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. And that one's unsuccessful. Hey, Kate, you feeling lucky? <laughs> well, the quarterback is because he just dodged a major turnover. That was an easy pick that was simply dropped. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Lone back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And he'll get it up to the 44. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. You know, Coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Purdy. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Just one quarter remaining in this one. It's 49ers ball, and they're sort of in comeback mode here. They trail to start the fourth. Second and three now. Here we go, set. Here's the lone back on the handoff. And he's tackled for no gain. Nothing gained or lost on that run. And now it's third and three. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got a tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Another carry for him. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Less than a yard needed here on four. Purdy to throw it. He beams one deep right side. And it's going to be incomplete. Couldn't connect to extend the drive. And that might just do it for him, Brock, as they turn it over on downs here in the fourth. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set. First and ten. Eckler gets it. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Okay, don't think for a second this is time you step off the gas. You can feel this defense, right? They're on their heels. And now is the best chance to go push the envelope and get aggressive. First and ten now. Here's Daniels. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And now they face second down. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover. 
and provide the hit that hey, dislodges the three, football. Three. You Come like in. to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Daniels throwing on third. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. He gets a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. To the line we go. They're set, first and 10. We've reached the two-minute warning in Santa Clara. Commanders with a two-score lead. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and 10. Robinson on the inside give. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. That's five, it looks like, on the play. So now it's going to be third and eight. The humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game changing play by any means. The one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. On the run, it's Eckler. Has a big hole left. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. Now on comes Austin Seibert for the field goal. A pretty automatic look for him from the left. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that grows their lead to 12. That kick, well, it throws a roadblock up on some of the remaining avenues to get back in this game. It really leaves only one remaining. It's going to take two touchdowns if they want a shot at it. And we know those odds, they're getting pretty long. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing now. Try and push it deep downfield. And that was probably their last gasp. It's intercepted. Jeremy Chin has got it. And the Commanders take over inside the 35 after the interception and a spirited return. Well, I know I don't need to tell you, partner, but if you're going to try to get aggressive, really push a throw downfield like that, you have to be smart about how you do it. Yeah, that is spot on, Kate. If you've got to find that spot when you know the coverage won't be able to hold up, especially as you go 20, 30, 40 yards down the field. Hey, listen, these defenders in the league today, you throw a ball deep down the field like that, it turns into a 50-50 ball. More times than not, they can make a play and take it away just as they did. Now, four seconds left. We've got a timeout. Not that the final play is going to change the outcome, but we will get one more snap. They're lining up for a field goal. Don't need the points, but it seems like they just can't resist. This is going to be a 38-yarder from the right hash. Offense liked how that play went. They choose to decline the penalty. Austin Cyber set to kick off. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Chooses to bring this one out. And he'll get this up to the 18-yard line. So it's a win on the road for the Commanders. And it's not quite a full game shutout, Brock, but keeping that other side off the board in the second half, that sure went a long way towards securing them this win. Made things a lot easier for everyone else to operate in the closing stages of the game. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.